Hello everyone, I am Jay Sarkar. Currently, I am doing B.Tech in Computer Science from MIT University, Haryana. The topic of my project is Image Noise Reduction with Autoencoder using TensorFlow. The project was done under the guidance of Dr. Yojna Aroda, Assistant Professor, CSE Department, AUH. What do you see in this image? Well, some of you might say it is a very distorted image. Some may say it is a very noisy image, and yet some of them might say it is not clear to say anything. But can you write a computer program that takes a noisy image as an input and produce a clear image as an output? Well, just prior to the recent development of DNN, deep neural network, this problem was inconvincible, even by the most advanced researcher in computer vision. But with the advancement of deep learning, this problem can be solved very easily if we have the required algorithm. Here, it is a structure of a deep learning model. We must first understand how important this problem is to real world. Let's see few applications where the situation to this problem can be very useful. Digital microscopic images. Exploring microscopic world and finding useful things and if we can denoise the image from the microscope and can discover something beneficial, we can do wonders. Satellite images. Exploring space and finding life in space is one of the biggest challenge and if we can properly denoise the satellite image, it can give a boost to space exploration as well. About the dataset, I have used the Fashion Minutes dataset of Keras, which is a free dataset available at Keras website. This is a dataset of 60,000 images, 28 in 28 grayscale images of 10 fashion categories, along with the test set of 10,000 images. The description of the test set is below. Model used. I have used an autoencoder. An autoencoder is a type of artificial neural network used to learn if efficient data coding in an unsupervised manner. The aim of an autoencoder is to learn a representation of a set of data, typically for dimensional reduction by training the network to ignore the signal noise. Autoencoder can be broken into two parts, encoder and decoder. Encoder, this part of the network compress or downsample the input into a fewer number of bits. The space representation by these fewer numbers of bits is often called latent space on bottleneck. The bottleneck is also called the maximum point of compression. Since at this point, the input is compressed the maximum, these compressed bits that represent the original inputs are together called encoding of the input. Decoder. This part of the network tries to reconstruct the inputs using only the encoding of the input. When the decoder can reconstruct the input exactly as it was fed to the encoder, you can say that the encoder can produce the best encoding for the input with which the decoder can reconstruct well. Here is an example. The noisy image is given to input as the encoder. Encoder fetches the features and give the features to the decoder and decoder reconstruct the image. And we can say that the original image and the produced image are comparable. The working model. Here's a working model of the project I made. There is an input images, the data set I have used. I've added the noise, the corrupt part. The noisy image is then given the input to the encoder. Encoder fetch the, fetch the data points and to give the data points to the decoder as input. The decoder take the input point from the encoder and upscale the image. The re reconstructed output is then compared to the original input and calculate the loss part. As you can see that the noisy data is comparable to the reconstructed data if we reduce the noise. The output is comparable. Conclusion, the described model is based on CNN that encodes an image into a compact representation, followed by the decoding of image to remove the noise from the image. It worked quite well when tested on several images. The image generated after the process was quite accurate, but the source of image also played an important role in the feature extraction, and hence the removal of noise. Certain images are not well recognized, and we find out that there is still some scope of improvement. There are certain points which can be incorporated in this model to make it even work better with large data set as well.
Thank you.